my channel on behalf of Brit. If you're new here, welcome. I'm Brittany and today I will be braiding my hair. I'm going to do some medium, extra nasty long box braids and I want to show you guys everything that I have, everything that I'm going to be working with tonight. Um, it is now 8.25 at night. 8:25 at night and i'm just getting started so i'm probably gonna be up to the wee hours in the morning but it's all good because i'm used to being up overnight so yeah um i'm gonna walk y'all through everything that i have set up over here i got some hair set up on my little rack the rest of the materials are on my bed i'm gonna show y'all what's going okay y'all so on my bed i have everything laid out don't mind this right now because i'm explaining what's going on in this corner but I have these clamps to help with my parting once I section everything. This oil sheen. This is not a sheen that you spray on your hair after you braid. It's kind of something that I spray through my scalp as I braid to kind of loosen up my um, parts and stuff. My hair gets really frizzy and thick at the roots. So it's for frizzy and unruly hair. And I kind of just spray it through my parts as I comb through because I'm very tender headed. So it helps me. It helps the comb kind of glide through my scalp. I got these scrunchies, which I won't be using in today's video. This is kind of just for styling. I needed some scrunchies that are going to match the color of my hair um, for me to do styles and stuff. I got this little edge scarf, which also won't be used in this video. But once I'm done with my hair tonight, I wanted to just lay my edges down. I wanted a scarf that just wraps around my edges alone because my braids would be tucked into a bonnet. I got some grease, which I don't think I'm going to use. My rat tail definition comb and then i have these edge controls this is what i normally braid with when i'm doing a style and i need to like kind of sleek the sections down i normally use this but this instant control is an edge control that i've only been able to find on amazon and i'm running low and i need this for my clients i rather use this on my clients and use something else on myself um so i ordered two more jars and it takes about two days it normally takes about two days for this to come so since I have to wait on some more and I don't have a whole lot to get me through the next couple of days, I'm not going to mess with this tonight. I'm just going to use my edge wax for myself. And then I have a package from my aunt from Duchess Braids. I did a thorough review on Duchess Braids in my self-care vlog. So if you want to hear more about her and her products, you will have to go back and watch that video. But in this particular package, I have... A edge control which I'm also going to use along with the Murray's edge wax and a mousse which is a foam that I'm gonna rub over my braids when I'm done but yes check out her product she's a youtuber and she also braids she's a bomb braider um so yeah that is my package from her my aunt always gives me with Duchess's product she knows I'm a fan so I'll be braiding with these materials, y'all. That's basically it besides, like, my wide tooth comb that I'm going to comb my little naps out with and um, scissors, of course. Over here, I have the majority of the hair. I started off with eight packs. If you've seen the video prior to this one, I actually went and purchased this hair. You'll know that I originally started with eight packs of hair. So I went ahead and opened five of those packs, which is laid out here and already separated um, over here. So I'm going to run through this part real quick and I'm going to go ahead and get to work because I know if you clicked on this video, you most likely just want to see me braid my hair more so than just talk. If you watched the vlog before this one, when I actually went shopping for the hair for this style, then you'll remember that I originally picked up this hair back here, which is actually what's laid out here. And I picked up one pack of this and I told y'all that I wanted to do majority of my hair this color really long about 60 something inches and i was gonna splash maybe like two or three platinum blonde in my hair platinum blonde plaits in my hair well after thinking about it i decided i don't want to do the platinum blonde um and with the pandemic the particular store that i shop at they don't do returns so i'm just gonna save it y'all know i have a stash full of hair like a big bin full of hair that i just keep um so it'll be a client one day sometime that runs low on hair a lot of my clients either highlight their hair in this or they'll get their whole head in a platinum blonde so i'm pretty sure i can put it to use but i decided not to go with this color and i went with um this mustard looking blonde and i feel like it's really close to this color you actually probably won't even see the, di the difference i don't think the camera is going to pick up the difference in color um let me take it out the pack to see but I decided to go with the shade that's a little bit closer in this family than going from honey blonde all the way to platinum blonde. 
um, because I have mixed platinum blonde with honey blonde before, but I did maybe like three or four colors in one style where it didn't seem that odd to me because I had so many different colors in my hair. But just to have two colors, I didn't think the platinum blonde went. Oh yeah, you can pick it up on camera. So I'm gonna do this 27 slash gold looking color, which is the hair out of this pack. As a matter of fact, let me show y'all the pack. Um, it is this hair right here. It's a 27 slash gold. So if you look really closely to this hair, you'll see it's mostly like a honey blonde, but streak in there is like little strips of gold. So I just went to the hair store and I grabbed a gold 144 to bring out the gold streaks in this hair. And I just decided to highlight maybe like I would say about 10 braids um, that I'm gonna do in this color. So I got two packs of the mustard looking blonde and then I have the honey blonde. So I'm gonna call this set. I give all of my braid colors. Anytime I combine different colors together, I always give it a name. So with the honey blonde and the mustard gold blonde, I'm gonna call this braided set honey mustard. So you would have seen it in the title for this video. Honey mustard, nasty long braids. Um, so yeah, this is the color scheme that I'm going for. I wanted to go ahead and explain that for the people that did see me shop for this hairstyle that was excited to see how it came together. I'm not going to do the platinum, y'all. I just decided it was too far off for the look I'm going for. Um, I have, like I said, mixed the platinum in with blonde before and it does look good, the platinum with this color. But I just feel like you have to have something in between to kind of mesh it all together. I did a hairstyle very similar to this one last March, literally a year ago. I did honey blonde, platinum blonde, jet black, and like a chocolate brown, and I called it um, s'mores. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen, y'all, because so many people complimented those braids, and literally a group of my clients started booking it back to back. They would come to their appointment and see my hair like that, and they'll just be like, my next appointment, I want my hair just like that, like you snap. And I called it s'mores. I had the platinum blonde representing the marshmallow, the honey blonde um, representing like the graham cracker. I had the dark, uh, deep, deep brown representing the chocolate, like the Hershey's chocolate. And I kind of just blended like four different colors together and came up with that s'mores look. And they were actually about 55, I think they're about 55 inches long. So y'all, I have finished the front half of my head, and so far so good. Everything is looking really good as far as the colors. Of course, so now y'all, what I like to do is kind of like move the front part out of my face. When I braid my clients' hair, I work from the back to the front, meaning I start in the back of their head and work my way to the front. But when I do my own hair, I like to work front to back just because sometimes I get tired my arms get tired of braiding and I want to make sure if anything is perfect it's the front but ouch um yeah I don't know how I'm going to do this because this is absolutely way too heavy I know my hair can't stand my head can't stand this bun for no two hours for me to do the back we'll figure out a way it's not too heavy but I gotta be able to get back there. <laughs> See what I'm saying? So that's my only challenge right now, y'all. That's my dilemma right now, trying to figure out how I'ma move these braids out the way to get to the back. Whew. And y'all, I'm tender headed, so 
it's a problem i'm back what i decided to do was just twist it over this way i kind of just twisted it and clamped it so the braids won't unravel while i'm working um i twisted it over this way so that i could see this side and then of course when i get to this side i'll just twist this log over this way them in they are all braided up and moose down i'm just waiting for the moose to settle in and then i am going to lay my baby hairs and show y'all the end result baby they are very long i told y'all in the beginning i wasn't gonna do it but i couldn't resist so they are every much of 60 inches y'all every much i'm every bit of 60 inches so i'm gonna show y'all the end result in just a second i'm gonna just let this moose relax and do a little razzle dazzle to my I edges. I my edges down for a few minutes with my new edge scarf. Put on me some lashes. I should have came back to y'all once I got dressed, but I don't know what I'm gonna put on for today. Y'all will probably see pictures in the thumbnail for this video. Once I get dressed for the day, it is a beautiful Saturday, and your girl finna head out. But let me show you guys what it's looking like so they are very long y'all past my knees i hope it's picking up on camera but yeah it is past my knees and they're very light too in case you're wondering they're very light i can pull them up today and won't have any issues and it's giving Rapunzel. Tell me it's not. Princess Rapunzel. And this is the look. Thank you for watching. I love you guys. See you in the next video.